A viewer says that they were told not to get an antibody test, and the reason? She was told they weren't accurate. Cairo 7's Matthew Smith is looking into that night as part of our Fact from Fiction. Let's start by talking about antibody testing. Now, one of our viewers says that she's concerned because she's an at-risk person, and her boss wants to know if she already has had COVID-19. So she went to get a test. They told her they're not that accurate. So the statement reads, antibody testing is accurate and can tell whether you've had COVID-19. I'm going to go with undetermined. Now, here's the deal. There are dozens of different types of antibody tests that are being used in the marketplace right now, and they went to market quickly, and there have been some real concerns over some of those tests. Here's a refresher. Antibody tests let you know if you've already had the virus. The FDA commissioners actually expressed some concern about the tests that came onto the market in late April, saying, quote, what we don't want are wildly inaccurate tests because, as I said before, that's going to be much worse, having wildly inaccurate tests than having no test. Next, let's talk about COVID-19 and helicopters. I know that sounds like such an odd sentence, but stick with me here for a second because people online are claiming that helicopters are spreading disinfectant that could harm people below. Turns out this post is fiction and also pretty old. A number of similar posts had been circulating online, and this particular one seems to have been spreading New York, not Washington. The leadership saying, quote, New York City is aware of a rumor circulating regarding the spraying of disinfectant from helicopters in parts of Brooklyn, including Williamsburg and Borough Park. This rumor is false. And I want to finish up with an update on pets. Now, in a previous fact or fiction, we talked a little bit about whether a pet could get COVID-19. I told you that was undetermined. And this week, we had a lot of changes on that front. You may have heard about a pug named Winston out in North Carolina. Well, he did test positive, according to researchers at Duke. So this statement, it is possible that my pet could contract COVID-19. I'm now changing this to fact. But I will note this, the CDC says it's less likely that your pet could spread this to another human. The real concern is if you're sick, you may want to distance from your pet. Hey, thank you to all of our viewers who continue to send in things they're not so sure about. We're here to help you separate fact from fiction. I'm Matthew Smith, Cairo 7 News.